We're in studio today with professional makeup artist Shanaz, um, and she's going to be showing us how to create a perfect nude lip. Okay, so um, when you're doing your lip, you want to make sure again that it's prepped, same as your skin, um, especially when you're in hot weather or it's cold weather or the, the climate's always changing like it is in South Africa, especially Cape Town, and I find a lot of people have dry lips. So you want to hydrate your lips first because there's nothing worse than putting lipstick on and then it's mm. just dry and it feels horrible. So we're just going to take a little bit of the Carmex, it's my favorite. This is a cherry one, so it smells amazing it as well. Nice. Um, but this is a great one because it's kind of a more medicated one. A lot of them actually dry your lips out. Okay. Um, so this is a nice one. Okay, so we've done that. So um, what you want to do is if you want to kind of create that perfect shape, so we're going to use a lip liner. This is really important actually when you're doing a red lip because the, with lip liner actually stops the lipstick from bleeding over the lip. So, so that's, that's the why. point of lip that liner. That is the point of a lip I've liner. I've never known. And also to create definition. So you can, like if you're doing like an orange lip, for example, you can use like one shade on the lip liner and then a brighter shade or a brighter on the lip and then slightly darker lip and it gives it that wow. Okay. It kind of stands out. But originally the lip liner is to create that so the lipstick doesn't bleed it's through. Okay. okay. And also you can cheat if you've got thin lips, there's ways of the lip liner can help kind of create that fuller lip as well. So um, I'm going to use using a nude pencil and you basically just want to trace your cupid's bow. And especially if you're doing a red lip, if you trace the lip, actually when it comes to putting the lipstick in, it's really easy because your outline's already done. Mm -hmm. um, remember when I was learning to do makeup in London, it freaked me out was doing that bold lip. And he kind of did it like a dot to dot, that you're joining the dots and that you know, you're know you pulling down the lip pencil you know, across and, and, so, and go like this on the bottom lip so that... And then open the mouth and you want it to join on both sides. Again, it's practice. And if you do make a mess, especially if you're doing a bright lip, take a cotton wool bud and moisturizer and then just remove it. Okay. So again, you know, it, it's, it is easy, it, everything is rectifiable. So we've traced the outline on the lip. And then we're just going to go with the lipstick. Um, you don't need to use a lip brush. I think when you just go straight with the lipstick, actually it looks just really natural. So we're just going to go in and apply the lipstick. Now, because yana has got a, a smoky eye, we've gone for a nude lip. That's kind of normally the rule of thumb is if your focus is on the eye, then you want a nude lip. And if you have a bright lip, then you want the rest of the face to be clean. Um, unless you're going out at night, you know you can get away with, that's fine. Um, and again, if you're doing a photo shoot, editorial beauty, anything really goes. And sometimes it does actually look amazing if you've got a smoky eye and a red lip. Mm -hmm. It can look very nice if done right. There we go. Easy, quick. Uh, easy, quick, how to do a nude lip. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.